This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. I hope you had a wonderful week. I just want to let you know you are destined for greatness. You can absolutely do anything. You can do. You can be. You can accomplish anything you want in life. You are not average. You are amazing. You are intelligent. You are smart. You are awesome. You are amazing. You are absolutely phenomenal. You were not born to be average. You were not created to be average, but you were created to be phenomenal. And I want you to get it in your mind right now. And let's do our exercise. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to get it, get it in your mind. You win in that Super Bowl. Get it in your mind. You win in the NBA championship. Get it in your mind that you're winning the NCAA championship in whatever sport you play in college. Imagine yourself becoming the CEO of that company. Imagine yourself becoming a doctor, bringing your GPA up, getting that PhD, getting that doctoral degree, getting that master's, getting that bachelor's degree, getting that associate's degree. Imagine yourself becoming a movie producer, an actor, a singer, or a rapper, a real estate owner, a real estate investor, selling real estate, selling houses, being an investor, coming up with that billion dollar idea, coming up with that multi-million dollar idea. It doesn't matter about your past. It doesn't matter what you've been through. Listen, listen to me. I've spoken in London in my mind already. I've spoken in Canada in my mind already. I've, I've spoken in Australia. Australia in my mind already. I've spoken in the NBA in my mind already. I've spoken in the NFL in my mind already. I've spoken in Major League Baseball in my mind already. I've spoken in corporate in my mind already. I have done it in my mind. It is only a matter of time that it's going to manifest. Let me tell you, I went from I went from flunking the first grade. I had a learning disability. I had a reading and comprehension problem. I was bullied in school. I was picked on in school. I was the underdog. Nobody believed in me. They said I would never amount to anything. I was cast out. And then when I got in high school, my high school teacher told everybody else, how great they were going to be. But when she got to me, she said, Tommy, you're, you're not going to graduate high school. She said, Tommy, you're not smart enough to go to college. She did not believe in me based on what she saw. Don't let people count you out based on what you're going through. She tried to put limitations on me. Then I became homeless in 2009, living on the streets and begging for food in 100 degree weather, could not shower. Then I finally got in college, but I struggled with depression and I flunked out of college, but I didn't quit. I got back in college on academic probation. I got my doctoral degree in a year and a half, got my master's in five years, and got my bachelor's in six years. And then after that, I was shot multiple times. Listen to me very closely. And when I got to the hospital, I was pronounced dead. See, the reason why I speak with so much authority, TC, the reason why I speak with so much enthusiasm and have so much energy because this is my life I'm talking about. This is my real story. This is not a book I'm just talking about or reading. This is my life. And I want you to know, you believe in me when I speak because I believe in myself. And you know what? I believe in you. And years later, I'm a motivational speaker and I'm a published author of three books and I'm currently working on my fourth book. The name of this book is, go to Amazon and type in, you are a winner and type in Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. And go to Amazon and type in anything is possible and type in Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. And go to Amazon and type in dream big and type in Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. These books, these three books, they will change your life. And these books are very affordable. Maybe you've been telling yourself you want to write a book. Let me go ahead and get into the message. Today we're going to be talking about in this special edition, how did you do it? You're going to become so great. You're going to become so successful. They're going to ask you, how in the world did you do it? You want to become so great and successful that people will ask, how in the world 
Did you do it? I'm here to tell you that now is the time for you. Today is your day. Today is your day to succeed. Today is your day to be prosper. Today is your day to have the victory. No matter what you're going through, you can win the Super Bowl. You got to work out like you want to win the Super Bowl. You got to work out like you want to win the NBA championship. You got to work out like you want to win the NCAA championship. You got to you got to work hard like you want to be the CEO of that company. You got to work hard like you want to start your business. You got to work hard like you want to be a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer, whatever you want to be, you got to work hard for it. You got to beast mode, lion mode, blood, sweat, tears, 120%. I can, I will, I must. Everything starts with a dream. Listen to me very closely. Everything starts with a dream. Greatness and success, it all starts with a dream. I heard someone say that people who are successful, they stay focused, number one. Number two, they don't waste time. Number three, they don't talk as much. Number four, they wake up early. Number five, they ignore negativity and they ignore nonsense. You got to ignore negativity. You got to ignore nonsense. As I close, I'm closing. You have to get to a place where you will push yourself because no one will push your no one will push you. You have to get to a place where you will push yourself because no one will do it for you. I'm closing. I heard someone say that one of the greatest things you can do is to invest in your mind. This is what I want you to start doing. I want you to start investing in your mind. Study your craft. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to be, whatever you want to become, study it. Last statement. Stop living in the past. Stop trying to please everybody. You have to get to a place to where you're not living in the past anymore. You got to stop trying to please everybody. You're going to become so successful. I'm speaking this into your life. You're about to become so successful. You're going to forget about the pain. Just like when a woman is giving birth. While she's giving birth, she's in so much pain. Ah, but when that baby is born and she holds that baby in her arms, she forgets about all the pain during, during the time she gave birth. And maybe that's you. You're going through pain right now. You're going through depression. You're going through the divorce. You're going through cancer. You're going through sickness. You're going through stress. Maybe your grades aren't good enough. Maybe you failed. Maybe you made a lot of mistakes. Maybe you had a bad childhood. Maybe you're dealing with a mental illness. Well, my point is this. Maybe you're dealing, maybe you're on a on a, on, a, on, a, on a sports team and your team is not as good. You can be good again. You can become great. How did you do it? That's what they're going to say. Don't let your past ruin your present. And don't let your present ruin your future. Because what you do right now in your present is going to determine what kind of future you have. They're going to say to you, how in the world did you do it? I'm already speaking this into your life. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you're struggling with, you're going to become successful one day. And they're going to say, how did you do it? Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Spread the word all over about me as a motivational speaker. Tell all your family and your friends about me. I want to tell the whole world that I love you. I believe in you. This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. Thank you.